Hello, dear all. We are starting with you one more program, Get Out of Depression. This Thursday evening, I am here to show you that God, He wants to help you. And I'm sure that He will help you who say, I need your help, Lord. Come and help me. Throughout this program, you're going to watch testimonies, life stories of people who have been helped, people who received miracles in their lives. In all over their lives, there was transformation happening. So today, you're going to watch the story of Lisa and her family. It's a wonderful story, a story where she used and applied the faith that she had been learning in the Universal Church, and all the areas of her life set, came into place because of the power of faith. No matter what problem you have, no matter what situation you're going through, know that God is not there to judge you for that. He's there to help you to get out of the situation. No matter the trouble you are in, God can take you out of the trouble. Once you believe and use your faith, and this is what Lisa has been doing, and that's why her faith brought the results that she always dreamed to have in her life. You also can achieve that. Let's watch close, pay close attention in everything she went through and how her life is today. And we'll be back straight after. Before I participated in the campaign, I came out of a broken relationship. Um, I had a daughter from that relationship. Um, and actually, we were married as well and divorced. So it was, it was so disappointing because you think you've made it in a sense that everything was fine and he changed and we were happy maybe for about two, three months and then things just started going downhill. Addiction take control of all my life. So basically just everything I, I did was to satisfy my addiction. The worst moment was when I saw that he just didn't care and I couldn't understand. Of course, I knew there was addiction and I understood where that came from and that was causing him to behave in that way, but it didn't eradicate the fact that he was hurting this family. When she was about seven, she knew that things were not right with her dad. She knew that we weren't a family and there were times that she wanted her dad and he said he would be there and he wasn't there. And that really, really affected her because she had a very close relationship. Although he wasn't around, she always wanted her dad. I still feel really bad about my daughter and, and I promise every week, well, this week is going to be different and on Sunday I'm going to be on time. And it didn't happen. And I participated in two campaigns for my love life. One was Jacob's Well, and another one was last year. And I said to God, God, I want your will to be done. I want to serve you more. I want to be complete. I want my daughter to have also a complete family. I never wanted, and I always said that when I'm legally divorced, I will not go back to John. I don't want that. So I never envisioned that I would, you know, even consider him as a, as a potential future partner. But I said to God, you promised. You said two are better than one. And I've reached a point in my life, I want to be better for you, God. So I want that person that you choose. And I, I had to change a lot of things. I was very demanding with God in what I wanted and how I wanted the blessing to come. And God showed me it's not about your will. It's about my will, but are you ready to trust? Are you ready to let go of, of your own conception of how the blessing should come to your life? When I hit the rock bottom and I had an overdose, and after that I started suffering with uh, anxiety disorder and panic attacks. So and then I said, this is enough. And I started using my faith and I decided to stop everything at once the drugs, the nightlife, and everything that I knew I was doing wrong. When you say to God, God, let your will be done, God showed me I had to move on and trust in Him. So the, as I prayed, God showed me that it was His will. And I made another sacrifice just for myself. I made another sacrifice for three months 
I said, God help me because this is not what I wanted, but you know what I need. So today I can say the campaign really works. So much so that it's unbelievable the change. We're a family again. John is completely different. There's no resentment from the past. This is the difference when, when it's from God. The past is the past. And it's really, really amazing what God has done in our lives. And today, our life is completely transformed. I always wanted to come back to my family and to live with my daughter and my wife. And I never stop loving them, just get distracted. And I was blind and I am completely in love with Lisa. <laughs> it's amazing, yeah. I never felt like that before. I'm very happy now and I love you very much. And I see you as a gift from God. And I know that sacrifice is the, is the way forward in everything and in our lives. So yes, thank you. Oh, love you too, thank you. <laughs> One Sunday afternoon, they were holding hands, walking together, and then they, they said we're together now, and just everything I wanted. We are back with your program, Get Out of Depression, and I am so sure that you got very inspired by this story. Lisa's life story is wonderful, it's amazing, and is one out of millions of lives that have been changed through the power of God at the Universal Church. We are not offering to you, my dear, my dear viewer, a religion or doctrination. No, we are offering to you a faith that brings results. What you need is results, not religiousness, not more doctrine. And it doesn't matter what religion you are from. You may be Hindu, you may be Buddhist, you may be even atheist. It doesn't matter if you have a belief or not. You are welcome at the Universal Church. The doors are always open. Our lines are always open. You want to call, you want to text, you want to send us a message here on Facebook or in one of our stream platforms. Here we are to talk with you, to guide you, to teach you the way out of the situation you are living. And I'm so sure that God will help you because his word shows us that. Do you know there was a certain time where Jesus, he met with 10 men. The 10 of that men, they have leper. All the 10, they were sick. All the 10, they were condemned by that disease, by that infirmity. And all of them, they cried for help. And do you know what Jesus have done? Jesus, he did not ask for their ID. Jesus did not ask for their nationality. He did not ask why they got sick. He did not ask how long they were sick. He does not want to know the background of your problem. He wants to bring the results. That's what God, he does. And it doesn't matter how you got into the trouble you're right now. You're watching me. You are listening to me right now. It's because he wants and he will help you. The, the, what you need to do is to use the faith the same way Lisa have done. I'm going to place more testimonies. People who have been coming to the Universal Church and receiving their miracles, their results. No matter what your trouble is, God, He can change that situation. Here on our screen, you can have also our WhatsApp number, our phone number, and our address here in Stockholm, our headquarters, and our address also in the city of Gothenburg, where we receive people every Saturday, helping them to change their lives. In Stockholm, we have our doors open every single day. And we have got our address in more than 100 countries. You can find that on our website, uckg.se. Let's watch more life stories, people who have received their results. And I'll be back straight after with you. You see, she's saying here she had a problem in her hands. If she bends, if she did like this, she could not stretch out her hands anymore. Show them. Bend it like you couldn't. You, you did before. Bend it. Stretch it now. You couldn't do that before? No. How long have you been having this problem for? More than a year. More than a year. Did you have pains there? Yeah, severe yes. pains. Severe pain? So do like this what you couldn't do? And now? Now it can just go up and down. It can, it can open properly now? 
shake my hands here. You are healed in Jesus' name. When you believe people, miracles happen. And you, what happened? What happened? I had back pain when I came in here. For a number of years, I've been having pain, and the doctor told me I have arthritis in my spine. Back pain? For how long? Uh, it was two weeks. Two weeks. What couldn't you do because of the pain? I couldn't bend properly. If you press, you would feel pain before? No, when I stand. When you stand, so move, move there. Yes, move, move to the sides. Go ahead. You couldn't do that before? How do you feel now? I feel good right, right now. I feel much better. Where is the pain? No, I can't. Don't no more pain? No more. No more pain? No. Never again, you are healed. When was the last time you did this? Huh? Quite a long time because of the pains. But now, Jesus has you up. Go ahead, sir. Without fear, in the name of Jesus, lift up the chair. Yes, move them. Go up. What are you going to do? Could you do that before? Hmm? Look at me. Never again, you're going to have this pain. I am so sure every time you see a miracle, you get inspired because you also have problems. You also need a miracle. This Sunday, we'll be coming before the throne of God here in our headquarters in Stockholm and all over the world. And we will also be using the power of the prophecy, the prophets of the word of God. We are not just one more person. We are people of God. And we will achieve the prophecies that is there for you. We will prophesy over your life. You also join us. You also will be prophesying over your life. And these prophecies, upon the promises of God, upon His word, they will be fulfilled in your life. What is the prophecy that you want to be fulfilled in your life? Join us this Sunday, especially at 11 a.m. Here in our headquarters in Stockholm, we will be here in one faith, one spirit, guiding you and observing and practicing the word of God. And we're going to be prophesizing of your life. These prophecies of the promises of God, they will be fulfilled in your life. You are invited to join us. Our address here is on your screen. And also, you can search for our addresses here in Sweden, in Norway, also in all over Europe and Scandinavia. All over the world, there is near you a door of the Universal Church open. A man of God, a prophet of the Lord, ready to prophesy your victory, the transformation of your life. We are getting to the end of this program. It was a pleasure to be here with you. I am sure if you absorb the spirit of the message, with each testimony of the prophecies that we're going to be making here on Sunday, your life will also become a testimony. May God bless all of you and see you next time.